For many Americans, there is no stronger connection between scent and feelings of peace and joy during the holiday season. Home fragrance expert and the New York Times anointed candle king, Harry Slatkin, he's joining us today with tips for making a festive and joyful atmosphere in your home this holiday season. Welcome to the show, Harry, or do I call you candle king? I'll take either, but I like my crown, so Candle King is perfect. Awesome. Now, why is scent so strongly associated with the holidays? It's always what everybody just loves, not only the food, but the scent, the smell of everything. Well, remember, our keenest sense is our sense of smell. So we smell before we do anything, and it goes right to our brain. There's actually a doctor in New York at Columbia University, Richard Axel, and he actually won a Nobel Prize for scent for illness. Now, I'm not going to help your illness, but I'm going to certainly help your mood through scent, and it's going to instantly change how you feel, instantly change your mood, and you can do it just with one candle, burning it to feel the festivities of the holidays. Wonderful. What do we need to know about kind of layering the scents and placement of home fragrances? Well, the great thing is my candles are layered, so each one of them have top, middle, and bottom notes, 15 to 20 essential oils in every candle, and I'm not a scent, I'm a storyteller. So I tell the story of holidays. But if it were me right now, and I was entertaining for the holidays to receive my guests in, I'd probably have one of my tree scents at the front door. If you have a wreath, garland up the steps, or you have your tree, most of them are artificial. So by having one of my tree scents, you'll really fill up the entire house, hallway, entering when your guests come in, with that wonderful magical of a Douglas fir, a Fraser fir, anything from the forest with a vanilla base, a little snow touching on it, and then move to the kitchen. Maybe a gourmand scent, something apple pie, something that really smells yummy in the kitchen. And in your living room, maybe a vanilla berry with snow touches. So that's how you would layer and fill your home. Because remember, you really want to be up the, you sense that you love. Because if you're relaxed, your guests and family are going to be relaxed. I love that advice. I really do. And what other advice do you have for preparing the air for holiday guests? Well, I really want your nose to be your guide. So that's how you prepare the air. So for me, I always start with one of my plugins because then I've got scent 24 seven always. Even in the middle of the night, if I go to the bathroom, I've got scent in the house. For your guest rooms, scent, if you have guests coming, family, friends, staying over for the holidays, a plug-in in the room 24 seven, kitchen back door when you enter the house but if you want to power up that house and you're starting to entertain or even just yourself having dinner for two one of my scented candles like if you're doing dinner just the two it's romantic cinnamon pumpkin vanilla 32 percent of men actually find that to be an aphrodisiac so you can find candles of my sense that'll make you feel happy and in the mood for a romantic dinner or power it up with a tree or my snowy scents and have the family and friends come over. Okay, I'm taking notes, I'm taking notes. What are your top aromatherapy tips to relax again <laughs> once the guests have left? So I don't know about you, and I don't know about your, your viewers, but for me, we love to entertain. We love to have guests over. We like to set the table. We, we're all about food. We love to eat food, entertain with food. We love to receive the guests into our house. But three hours later, we're ready to turn into a pumpkin and say goodbye to the guests. That's when we go to the kitchen. We eat the leftovers. We drink the leftover red wine. And then we go into the living room or library and we watch TV or read a book. We want to bring ourselves down. So that's when it will turn to something more calming. For me, it's vanilla. For my wife, it would be probably more an exotic fruit. That'll bring us down from all those holiday scents. So let your nose lead you to where you actually bring yourself down. All right, and where can our viewers go for more information? For any information you want to find out more about my candles or any of my home fragrance products, go to homeworkscandles.com. That's homeworks with an X, homeworkcandles.com. You'll see the full array and get some candle tips as well. I love it. Harry, or should I say Candle King, thank you so much for being with us. And thank you for me bringing me on with my crown to say happy holidays to you and your viewers, thank you.